We're here live at Event Cinema's George Street for the Sydney red carpet premiere of the In Between Us 2. And very shortly, the entire cast is going to be walking down here and hopefully we'll get a bit of a chat. The In Between Us started as a TV series and due to its popularity, it sparked a movie. And in doing so, the In Between Us became the most successful British comedy of all time. And now, the boys are back for number two. And this time, they're going down under. Kevin, welcome to Australia, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. What I love about Ride Along that is, you know, it does have buddy cop elements, mm -hmm. but the two characters, they're, they aren't buddies. Ice Cube hates you. Yeah, hates my guts. Is he as intimidating off screen as he is on? You know what? Yeah. Uh, he's just not a smiler. Well, I actually um, saw Ice Cube smile one time and I heard a person say, I didn't know you had teeth. <laughs> uh, and that's definitely a sign of someone who just doesn't smile. Yeah. If we can jump back to 2011, mm -hmm. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. It got crazy reviews, amazing reviews, mm -hmm. made near 500 million in the box office. Mm -hmm. Was it an easy choice to come back for the sequel? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not until you really, you know, what's the script? Mm -hmm. Who's the director? All of these things yeah. kind of factor in the, into that decision. All I knew was that actually working on the last film, it, it, by the end, we were thrashed. We mm. were so exhausted. That experience taught us how we could do things better. Rose can read Liss's mind. Zoe, do you think if you could read Lucy's mind on a daily basis, what would the majority of her thoughts be? I sometimes feel like I can read her thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> the majority of her thoughts are kind. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> Which is shocking <laughs> for me. I'm like, what is happening in there? So quick exercise. Think of nothing right now. Ready and go. What is she thinking about? Go. She's thinking about how she'd really like to be on the beach with her sister right now. She's also probably thinking about, <laughs> like, you know, butterflies and flowers <laughs> and trees and deer and kind things. Like how much she loves the universe, right? We're here with Ian Morris, the director of The Inbetweeners. Ian, we've got to ask off the bat, yep. did you ever think that there would be a second movie to your creation, let alone a first, no. let alone three seasons. No, no, never, never, never. Me and Damon never ever thought anything like this would happen, so it's kind of insane. And we did have a bit of a moment when we were at Sydney Harbour shooting at night for the second film, where we were, you know, sun was going down, the moon was coming up, Sydney Harbour was there, the Opera House was there, and me and Damon were like, how have we got, what are we doing here? How can we have got here? From like a suburban sitcom and series one, and thinking I always said it all in the, the places we grew up. So yeah, it's been, uh, been incredible. And, and your character in the film, he's basically putting his life on the line for the sake of impressing his girlfriend's brother. Yeah. Have you yourself ever been in a position where you've had to jump through hoops to impress someone? Um, you know what, I mean, I probably have jumped through hoops without noticing that I was jumping through hoops. Mm. You know, as men, we do stupid stuff. So yeah. yes, of course I've done stupid stuff. I remember a girl got in my car, and when she got in the car, I just started driving real fast. Yeah. So I thought girls like guys that drive <laughs> fast. I just remember her going, stop, you're going to kill us. Stop. Ah, let me out. I, I don't want to be in here no more. Thanks so much, man. Welcome to Australia again, and Thank congratulations. You. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And chatting to Ian before, he told me that, you know, it was unbelievable for him to think that, you know, there's a second movie, let alone a first. Did you guys think that when you auditioned for this, this would be as big as it has been? Not at all. No, I mean, after the first series, we all went back to our day jobs, you know, and so, you know, the fact that a second series got picked up was an amazing thing for us that, you know, we get to act again and be paid for it. So to think that six years later, we'd be here now, second movie, doing a tour of Australia is, is crazy. And in terms of shooting, I know the first film, a lot of it was shot indoors. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was 85% was shot on set, you know, Vancouver Forest, outside New Orleans. Was that a smooth transition for you guys? Some lessons that we learned on, on the last film, you know, for, for starters, the, you know, the mocap markers on the actors kept getting their wires pulled out of them. Taking from that, we basically made our, our active marker strands encased in silicon this time so that they were they could stand up to people rolling around on the ground and fighting. You personally have been in massive films, Lord of the Rings, Avatar, X-Men, The Hobbit. How does Dawn of the Planet of the Apes compare visually? Oh, I don't think, you know, every year, you know, the technology facilitates like higher and higher level of realism, you know, from stuff. And I think that's certainly true here. I mean, like this is, this is currently, in my mind at least, of, of the stuff that I've worked on, this is king of the hill at the moment. <laughs> Well, that does it here for all the action at Event Cinema's George Street. The In Between Us 2 comes out July 21. I'm gonna go hang out with the boys now because, because Nick, you heard them, you heard, you, they called me their friend, so I'm gonna, Will, Will!